refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last Tommy, it's good to see you, my man. How's things? Good to see you, mate. How are you? Good, mate. I'm good. Um, lovely bit of Friday night boxing at York Hall. Um, anyone in particular you're here to see or just here to see what is actually a really good card tonight? Now, nah, you know what? Yeah, I was thinking like, I want to come watch a bit of boxing because obviously I'm, uh, I'm fighting here in a few weeks. So I said to Mark, do you want to go watch the show tonight in that? L.S. Zorro versus uh, Jose Burton is a good main event. So I thought we'll come down and uh, have a look, you know, have a watch. Yeah, good fight. I'm looking forward to that. Um, tonight, I would ask you your opinion, but by the time this goes out, that fight would be uh, would be long gone. Um, let's talk about yourself. So you're fighting in two weeks' time. How's prep going? Yeah, really well, mate. Very good training camp. Uh, I've been over to Dubai on like a uh, little like pre-training camp sort of thing. So I had some great sparring out there. To be found in some real good shape at the minute. I'm gonna. Uh, I think it's be my best performance yet for my fight coming up. It'll be my best fight yet. Yeah. yeah what's it like over in Dubai? Because obviously it's kind of growing as a bit of a boxing hub. Is there like different sparring than you'd get over here because like you know when fighters do them american camps you get that different feel is dubai kind of grown in that sense you going over there and getting that kind of different sparring then to be fair when i went over there i was sort of like staying in my um staying in my little circle you know with the people that i was over there with but uh yeah sparring sparring in it you know what i mean they all throw jabs the same they all throw backhands the same but I'll tell you what it was like though the um oh as soon as i got out of that plane and got over there the heat hit me and uh the guy said, "Oh, we're going to do a, we're going to do a track session today, running." I was thinking like it's going to be indoors, indoor track, AC on, thirty eight degrees or something silly that day. Got out there, got my water, thinking, "Oh, where are we going?" And he's like looking over there at this big outside track. I could hardly breathe. <laughs> I could hardly breathe. It was so hot. But um, yeah, now nah, you know what? It's when I was running, I could. I was. It's making me fit. I'm very fit now. So um, yeah, now nah, it's good hot weather training. You can't beat it, can you? Yeah, look forward to seeing you in action, of course, in a couple of weeks' time. There's been kind of a bit of a perhaps spotlight pushed on you and the people around you in your division, specifically the thing that happened with Alois. Now, I know you're both on your own path. It ain't going to be a fight we're going to see immediately. Um, but it kind of has been uh, a bit of a, a bit of a hot topic recently. Yeah, well, what can I say? You know what I mean? Like, we're both cruiserweights. We're both young, so it's going to happen no matter what. But, you know what, it's been a bit back and forward. He said something, I've said something back. But I'm as game as they come, so... I'm I'm up for anything, and when I beat when I box him, I believe I'll smash him, I'll beat him. But you know what I mean? I think he's a good fighter. I'll say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know it's a fight that both of you would have now, but I suppose from a promotional sense, as you're under the same banner, is there kind of a bit of reasoning behind letting the fight brew and kind of let it sit for a bit? So when it does happen, it is say ten times bigger. Listen, I'm not who I don't know where everyone's getting that letting this fight brew like. That's him saying that. I'll I'll fight him on my next fight. Like, don't make that no clickbait. But I mean, like, I'll fight anyone. Like, I'll fight for, if if I had a fight proposed to me for my next fight that was proper, good payday, good money, good um proper fight. I'll take it. So, for me, it's not about letting any fight brew. Not just for this fight. Any fight, I'll fight anyone and uh, whatever whatever my manager's put in front of me, I'm gonna fight. So yeah. We've got two weeks' time, of course, to deal with first. So look forward to seeing you out then. Just a quick one. I know we haven't spoke to you post Joe Joyce. Um, a devastating defeat, especially the manner of the defeat that night. Um, how do you kind of look at that for Joe? Listen, it was a uh, a bit of an upset, wasn't it? And um, you know, Zhang, he's a he's a good fighter, man. He's a very good fighter. You know, he's tall, rangy, southpaw, and uh, yeah, he's no idiot. But I mean, I think a few adjustments will be made for this camp for Joyce this time, and I believe he'll go out there and I think he'll uh, beat him. I think he'll stop him as well. But yeah, no, nah, like you said, Zhang's a good fighter. You can't take no credit for him. He boxed a good game and uh, he fought well. But I believe Joe Joyce is a better fighter and he'll, and he'll win next time round. So you believe it is the right decision to take it next? Not take one in between? No messing about, get back in, go for revenge? Well, listen, like, I ain't one to comment on that, really, to be fair. I'm, I'm not in that position and it's up to SJAM. We've all got the same manager, so I trust whatever their, whatever their choice is and what their... Uh, decisions are so if it's right for him then let him crack on and do it you know hopefully he wins and I believe he will because I refuse to not be first do we do enough well I never shut up Barry uh, it must have been about 17 16 17 we nicked their guilt rings right the bouncer's guilt rings this is no good for me that's the reality. If you want the honest truth, 
And I see it every day. 